Hey there, how are you? I've got some new kits. So I've got this new one from ICM, the um, the Panhard, the French reconnaissance vehicle that the Germans captured. This is a new one, I think, because um, they've added a crew to it. Um, there's a few different versions of this kit. They've done a few different versions of it, and there's one with a different turret on it. But I think this is the most common one, this German-looking one. But I think that crew is new, and it's a nice box. See a nice picture? It's beautiful. But in other news in ICM, look what they're releasing. A field toilet. A, a, an outdoor dunny. That's pretty cool, so you'll be seeing that in store soon. Um, I probably will buy one. Um, I think you will too, because you can't go past the outdoor toilet. Um, well, let's have a look at this. I've got some other ones as well. I've got some more mini art kits, so that one. Let's have a look at this. So this is your standard ICM packaging. So you have to cut, first of all, the plastic off. And they're impossible to open, these boxes. So they're, they're like super packaged. There we go. You get a picture on the... And that's about it. And then you get this box, so the more box. And you open that up. Yay! And there it is. And there's the Panzer wagon. The recon vehicle. So it's a nice little vehicle with its 25mm anti-tank gun. So that's that. And it's got some little French... Now that light's not shining off everything. That French machine gun. And it's got some wheels and all that. So, my first recon vehicle, and it's my first ICM kit, um, or tank or whatever. I've got their um, figure set, but yeah, it's the first time I've got one of their tanks. But yeah, check out this figure set. It's really good. It's really, really good. See? Bloody nutty good figures. They're really nice. I really like ICM Slater stuff. See how the uniforms are really good? Much better than um, Mini Arts ones, aren't they? I just found that with ICM. They're just so crisp. Their moulds are just so really nice. There's hardly any flash or anything, is there? It's really nice, and then you see you get a little putty cat. Little putty cat, and that's his arm playing with the putty cat. So that's really good. Uh, you get a few sprues, I think it's uh, one, two, th um, you get that big one, four, yeah, you get, you get basically five sprues. So this is the uh, the bottom and the sides. And you see, look, they've put the suspension on the sides there. They've moulded it on. And the detail is pretty dang good. See, they've put Panhard on there. Can we focus in on that? But they've written that on there. Which is really nice detail, I reckon. And you can see, it's not too shabby, is it? Like, I didn't know what to expect, really, but... This is really nice, and I think I will get ICM kits in the future. It looks a lot easier to build than mini art ones. So mini art's always going to be number one. What I reckon is, because ICM comes from the Ukraine as well, I reckon that ICM does the awesome figures and mini art does the awesome vehicles. But this vehicle looks pretty good, and uh, mini art uh, figures are pretty good. But... I think that ICM figures are outstanding and mini art tanks and vehicles and stuff are outstanding. Well, the newer ones anyway. Pretty damn good. Everything on that is nice. I like that. You get the engine. The engine looks pretty average though. I'm not that you will really see it, but yeah. I really like the detail on it. the uh, floor there. Everything is really good. 
nothing wrong with this kid. Fan's nice. I was looking through the mini art, um, T54, the interior one I just got, and my god, that, that is, wow. It's got, you know, the fans are all, uh, photo etch, and now you get these, I don't know, what are they, vinyl or something? Vinyl? I'm not sure, we'll look at that in a minute. Um, they're pretty average, I don't, there wasn't anything I was too excited about, but I'm sure they look good with the, the vinyl wheels on. And then you got this one, one turrets for the other model. Uh, I was a bit disappointed about that, having that, that's not, um, that's not one piece, it's two pieces. Uh, that was bent, so that came out of the packet bent, which is annoying. Which got me worried, I was looking through the rest of it, but that seems like the only part that's damaged, that's the machine gun down there. So it's, it's alright, you know, it looks like the body's really well done and the details are just average, I reckon. But it's gonna do the job, it's gonna look nice. You know those ammo things? Another fan. So it's not too bad, the turrets are good, but you won't have any issues with them. But saying that, there is some heavy uh, pin marks, ejector pin marks. And that's, as an interior kit, there is going to be some heavy removal work with that. And you can see that is the interior parts. I don't think you'll see them. That will have to be filled, and that's they're very deep, like really deep. No, that's really bad, Dad. Actually, that like, really bad ejector pin mark. So that's a down. That's a, a, a down vote. Maybe the ejector pin mark, and then you've got some decals in here. Um, they look alright. They don't look at anything to you know, write home about or anything. Um, yeah, just sort of. Yeah, can you get that? See that? They're not like mini arts ones, like really good or dragon, but they're similar to the board ones. They're thin, but they're really sort of plasticky looking. But they, you know, they seem like they're good quality. It's just, you know, once you've done a dragon decal or a um, mini art decal, it's like you can't go back, everything shit after that. Yeah, so that's what you get. There's no detail on the vinyl tyres. There's no detail on that. There's no writing. They're just vinyl tyres. Which is pretty average, but it'll it'll come up looking good. Alright, so that's that. And the instructions are pretty simple. So you've got a little bit of detail on the actual history. Um, the weight and all that. Um, then you get the part breakdown in there, showing what we looked at, and you also get the instructions for the, the crew. Bit of a painting guide there. I find ICM's uh, guides for figures weird. I don't know who draws them, but I don't reckon it's the greatest drawing. But anyway, it is what it is. It is what it is. Now this is really simple, so it looks a really simple kit to do. Um, you got the interior, so this is a full interior kit, which is good. But, uh, I don't know if you'll see a lot of it. Uh, I like how this recon vehicle, you can drive both sides. I didn't know that. That would have been cool. But you can see it goes together really easily. It's like a lot of it was really smartly moulded. And then that's done in, what, how many steps? 18. Oh no, it's not done yet. Yeah, you still gotta do all those things. And then it's done, so 26 steps for the body. No photo edge, nothing hard, it's just a nice easy build. 
might just do it on the on the sly. Then you get into the um, oh yeah, we're doing the. Okay, it doesn't end. I keep saying it ends, but it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know. Why do you keep getting this picture? Oh, maybe just see what it's meant to look like. I don't know. Then you do the turret, which is really easy. It's, it's sort of, I don't know, I think it's a half interior. Like enough interior to sort of, you know, get away with being an interior kit. You know, um, if you have doors open and stuff, you see enough. But like, if there's no way of seeing it, I don't think they've done anything there. So I don't know. I'm not sure. I'll build it and we'll know more. You get a couple of options. So that's the French one where they captured it they captured 200 of them and that's the one in france that's the one um in russia that's the battalion uh you got that police unit one and then you've got the winter one with the moscow region so that's that all right, thanks for watching. I hope you get excited about the new ICM toilet. I'll see you again.